Hi everyone, this is Kathy and I have a quick little nail tutorial and a DIY project for us. Um, this is nothing new. I first saw this done um, by Robin Moses, Nail Art. She has her own channel. She's amazing. She does some wonderful things. And this is done with the um, foils. You can purchase these from the Dollar Nail no, I mean, DollarNailArt.com. They come in little... I have a wheeze going on here. They come in little um, packages like this, and you get five feet of this for a dollar. And and I've got so many colors, it's not even funny. Um, and it's because I use all of them. But they're just, they're absolutely stunning. I'm just going to keep throwing stuff on there. Look real quick. But again, just go out there on Dollar Nail Art dot com and you'll be able to find these look under foils that's what they're called and again five feet for a buck gosh you just you just can't pass that up so anyway what I did was <laughs> I've had a terrible time doing this tutorial I started this morning and uh, the mailman came and there was a box and I had to open it and ruin my nail so I had to start all over again and then I, I mean it's just been one thing after another this morning so I went ahead and did the majority of my nails and what you do is I went ahead and started with my base which is this fiberglass network I love this stuff and then I put a clear coat on top of that and then I have two coats of this Sally Hansen nail growth miracle and it's called hang on innocent nude I got two coats of that on and then what you do is you take um, a glue and I'm using this It's called the blessed best glue ever and Robin Moses was one that um, brought this to my attention. I'm using this, and I've got it watered down just a, a trifle a little bit. I went ahead and used a paintbrush, and I painted on the glue. And then what you do is, again, this is nothing new. You take these foils, and you put it over the top. Once you, and, and let this glue sit for about minute, minute and a half, two minutes. Let it go completely clear. And then put this over the top, and give it a good rub, and yank it off, and you'll get all these pretty different designs. Now, I hope y'all aren't squeamish. The reason I haven't been recording lately is I've done this to myself. Um, did this a week ago, spent four hours in the hospital and have ten stitches in there. Still hurts a little bit, but uh, again, I hope I don't turn anybody off by that. I'm truly sorry. So I left one nail, and again, I've even smudged this thing up. <laughs> I, I, I've just, I've got so many things going on, it's not funny. But I'm going to go ahead and do this one. So hang on. Just lay that across there. Give it a good rub. Rip it off. Hey, well, got a little glue on me there. That'll come right off. And there's your nail color. And it just, uh, again, there are so many different... Um, patterns and plain things you can mix them and match them and you don't even have to do your whole nail you can just go ahead and do um, maybe a side or do a diagonal do one on one uh, a plane on one side and a pattern on the other the the options are just absolutely endless endless <laughs> hard time talking today so then I got to thinking while I was getting ready to do my nails this morning I thought you know there's got to be something else that I can do with this stuff. So, I went ahead and pulled out some, this is um, chipboard, white chipboard, and it's a medium weight, white on one side, tan on the other. And I thought, you know, I'm going to try this with this foil. So I went ahead and I put a white acrylic paint on it. Do a paint on it. Um, I tried it first with just the glue. It doesn't work. It'll end up tearing your paper off. So, put a, a thin little layer of whatever acrylic color you want. I just went ahead and used white and then let that dry. And then again, I watered down some glue and put that over the top of it. And then I used, sorry, my reach here. And then I used this one, this rainbow swirl. And this is what I came up with. This is an inch and a half wide. And then once the um, 
I had uh, put, you know, the uh, the foil wherever I wanted it, and again, it's a different pattern, and I didn't want it, you know, this dark. That's not the, the effect that I was going for. Then I put another really, really light coat of glue on it, and I put some glitter on there. I just thought it was really, really pretty. I put a little bale on it, and then I just got a necklace, and then when everything was done, I just went ahead and painted the back. Um, again, this is real lightweight because it's cardboard. But in, in case it was bouncing around, I didn't want it looking so much like cardboard. And at the same time, I went ahead and made myself a little pair of earrings out of the very same thing. So, I, again, was doing my nails this morning, and I thought, you know, there ought to be something else I could do with this. So I went ahead and made a necklace and a pair of earrings out of it. Um, I'll leave some some information about Robin Moses down below and where I purchased all of these things. And if you have any questions, just leave me a message and I'll talk to you later. Hope you guys have a good day. Thanks a lot.